Well, tonight, the mother of the man whose body was found in a sewer on Detroit's west side is speaking out. All Tamika Fairley knew at the time was that her son, Jermaine Fairley, had been shot. She spoke with local force Pamela Osborne in hopes that you could help find him. Well, the tips came in, and on Friday, a body was found in a sewer on the city's west side. Well, over the weekend, the Fairleys got the heartbreaking confirmation that Jermaine was gone. Pamela Osborne spoke to the family tonight, and she's joining us from police headquarters with what they're saying. A tragic story, Pam. It certainly is in that family, the Fairleys, they say they are taking things one day at a time. Despite this incredible loss that they're suffering right now, they did want to take the time to thank everyone who called in with their tips after we shared that story. Those tips, she feels like, led investigators to the body of her son. I thank them for being brave enough to come across and say, hey, this was wrong. We know where he had. Tamika Fairley says without the public's help, Jermaine's body may not have been found. We received a, uh, an anonymous tip that he could possibly be in a sewer in that area, which that's what led us, uh, our detectives uh, and our canine uh, searching uh, in that area. At 2 o'clock Friday afternoon in a sewer, they found a body and a gun. A day later, Tamika learned it was the body of her 28-year-old son. He was fun. He loved his kids. You know, he was... He always, he always had the kids around. He liked to hang out. I mean, he was just young and full of life. She still has questions about how his life ended. She knows Jermaine had attended a funeral and a repast January 27th before visiting a home on Wildemere in Puritan. Police say there was a fight and reports that the 28-year-old father of five had been shot in the head. You took a, a father, a brother, an uncle. You took my son. For what? For nothing. Tamika's at a loss, trying to figure out what to tell his kids, most of whom are too young to understand. Police say they've identified two persons of interest, but no one's in custody yet. Tamika is hoping for justice. They should spend the rest of their life in jail. The only difference between them is I don't, I don't wish death on them. And the Fairleys could still use your help. Tamika tells me her son was a gunshot victim as a teenager. The doctors were never able to remove that bullet. And because of that, he was a liability for insurance companies. So she said he wasn't able to get a life insurance policy. They started to go fund me in hopes that somebody may be able to contribute to the burial expenses. For now, reporting live outside of DPD headquarters, I'm Pamela Osborne, yeah, Local just 4. Awful. Okay, Pamela, thank you.